Time now for our moment of faith. Uh, let's talk about fasting. It is indeed encouraged to draw closer to God. So why is that exactly? What's the relationship between hunger and getting closer to God? Uh, joining us now with insight is pastor and former professional soccer player, Jesse Bradley. Uh, Jesse, thanks for being here. Really appreciate your time. Well, talk to us about fasting because we, we, we kind of liken it to food and hunger, but it's not about food and hunger necessarily. It's about something much more than that, about in essence sacrificing your time uh, to get closer to God. But I'll let you explain it since I'm not going to interview myself. You explain it. Thank you, David. Yes, fasting is significant. It literally means to cover the mouth. And you give up something and you gain something that's even more important. You might give up food or entertainment for a season, but you gain more of God's presence and wisdom. And you see throughout the Bible, people are fasting, praying, seeking God. Moses prayed and fasted. We have the Ten Commandments. Nehemiah, praying and fasting, citywide renewal. We need renewal across our nation. Esther, also fasted. And then you saw deliverance. And Jesus said, when you fast, so it's part of your walk with God. It's intentional. You do miss the food. Food is great. Food's a blessing. Why would you give that up? <laughs> well, there's a deeper hunger in our lives. We need more than just what's in our stomach. It's our souls. And when we fast, we're really making room for God. It's more than a ritual. It's a relationship. And we really need more of God's presence. Sometimes it's helpful in this culture to get rid of some distractions, bring some simplicity. Remember what life is all about. Close to God, loving other people, and then making a difference. Your purpose in this world. And fasting kind of accelerates and helps you really focus mm -hmm. in on why you're here and the difference that you can make. Yeah, and I noticed that fasting and prayer, it's a tandem. I mean, it's not like fasting and watching TikTok. Uh, it's fasting and praying. Yes, what a great habit. I mean, every day if we're praying, if we're reading the Bible, you know, add some of those other habits. It could be serving in your community. And as you seek God and you think the Bible says, humble yourself, pray, turn from your evil ways, seek God. And what's God going to do? He's going to hear from heaven. He's going to forgive sin. He's going to heal the land. We need a lot of transformation in our country today. And it goes beyond what's visible. It's in the invisible. We need God's help. God is our refuge, strength, and ever-present help in trouble. Yes, we're involved and we participate. But when you call on God, God moves in a supernatural way. God's unstoppable. We're, we're not going to have anything greater than in God we trust. And as we seek God, we're going to come alive. We're going to be empowered. We're going to love our neighbors. And the change really starts on the inside, that closeness with God. Jesus said, abide with him. You're going to bear much fruit. And when there's spiritual renewal, every part of our lives change. There's blessings that flow. And we're really going to become all God's designed us to be. Uh, it starts with that intentional small thing. Seek, pray, fast. And then God shows up and does amazing work. So let's take those first steps of faith together.